Excuse me. Greg. Hey, Tom. Forgive me, but uh, are we talking to each other on the poop deck of a majestic schooner? Why the fuck are you wearing a pair of deck shoes, man? Oh, yeah, no. Tom's pretty revolting to Greg early on, and I think perhaps that's because he feels that Greg's been a threat. Maybe if Tom had a bit more confidence, he would be nice to Greg. They have this weird, twisted dynamic between them. Like, you can tell Tom is a guy who just smells out weakness and loves to play with it. I'm staying in a youth hostel on like $80 Jesus, a day. how squalid. They're just hilarious, yeah. I, I'd never get tired of watching them. Hey, hey, can you help me? The best part about Greg is that he doesn't think about repercussions sometimes. He's thinking like survival. And a lot of Greg is about survival for getting into this family. We would like to see him, please. Are you trying to force entry, is that it? With a new stepmom or stepdad on the, on the scene, there's something about trying to integrate into a family, which means that any hint of financial interest is like, what's she after? Apparently he doesn't want to see us. Why would he say that? Still pissed at you for not signing up to his corporate uh, restructure to make Marsha queen of the castle? Or he could be lying there dead, I have no fucking idea. Marsha poses maybe more of a um, threat to Shiv than she thought at first. Marsha is proving herself to have gotten under Logan's skin, and I think there's probably a genuine connection and a genuine love between the two, though Shiv wouldn't believe so. Episode three really allows us to start building what I hope will be a series-long tension between her and the siblings. Aunt Marsha won't let us see Grandpa. Right, kids? I think Kendall is really making an effort to not be like his father. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. I love you. Rava and Kendall are separated, but I think Kendall sort of makes a last ditch effort to uh, to get back together. It's Roger. the argument of a psychopath. What psychopath who might hypothetically be the man who loves you. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> in a sense, she is uh, the best thing in his life. I want each and every one of you to be innovating, challenging, being bold, being disruptive, because steady as she goes, hits the iceberg. I think Kendall does quite well in the top job. It's something that our father has raised us to expect to be running this company. He's also, at all times, thwarted us and hindered us. There was a lot of back and forth discussion in the, in the development of the script as to what Kendall's arc was through the episode. Kendall was sailing confidently until the rug pull from his father in that final scene. You are a fucking idiot. We started playing with that dynamic and actually putting more obstacles um, in, in Kendall's way. And I think that, for me, really helped the journey of the episode. Jeremy really kind of stepped up there, as he has done through the entire season, to, to take us on that ride.